Hi guys, you're still on the weather application and we'll be talking about the Firebase Job Dispatcher. This is a library for scheduling background jobs in an Android application. So we'll be moving straight to the source file in the build gradle scripts, uh, which is going to be the model app session. Uh, you're going to add the compile com.firebase job dispatcher 0.5.0. Uh, the point of recording this is the uh, latest version uh, this is a firebase job dispatcher dependency uh, to this particular project after adding this particular line of code uh, you click on uh, the gradle you synchronize gradle and uh, we're going to create um, a weather firebase job service which is going to sit inside the sync module uh, this particular job service is uh, going to handle some back some background traits. Uh, whether you're going to uh, you first of all make sure you've imported the job dispatcher job service, which we have done, and uh, you create the class weather firebase job service that extends the job service. Uh, you're going to declare a thread field called the M fetch weather thread. Afterwards, you override on start job within it and you spawn off a separate thread to sync weather data. Uh, there's going to be the separate thread within the M fetch weather thread by instantiating the new thread. This is a runnable which is actually going to run in the background. Or by you call on the context uh, where you get the application context, uh, you sync the weather based on the context. Uh, once the weather data is synced, uh, you're going to call the job finished with the appropriate arguments. I call the job finished, uh, passing the job parameters and setting it to false. You call on the MPH weather thread to start up and you must return a value, a boolean value true. Uh, you're going to override on stop job to interrupt the thread and set it to null and return true. Uh, this particular boolean method, this is called where the scheduling engine has decided to interrupt the, the execution of a running job, most likely because the runtime constraints associated with the job are no longer satisfied. Or well, you have the job parameter. Uh, if the mfetch where the thread is not equals to null, you have to interrupt the thread and you set it to null. This afterwards you return a true value. Uh, there's a job dispatcher from the Firebase library. Afterwards, we'll be moving to notifications. We have to be getting some notifications of recent uh, weather data uh, from the application so that users can be uh, well informed of the present state of the weather info. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere.